ever feel like, I don't know, some therapies treat you like uh, a puzzle to be solved? Yeah, instead of like an actual person, right? Right, like you're just there to get your software updated or something. I can see how some approaches might feel a bit uh, mechanical, yeah. Totally. Well, get rid of Ditch the Toolbox because today's deep dive is all about you. Ooh, that landed. The inherent potential you bring to the table. We're exploring person-centered therapy or PCT. Okay. And trust me, it's way more revolutionary than just like listening and nodding. Definitely. We've got two sources to help us untangle this. A French website on holistic therapies that actually uses PCT in their therapist training. How cool is that? Very cool. And of course, the always reliable Wikipedia page for a broader perspective. Excellent choices. It's fascinating to see how um, PCT is integrated into different fields. Totally. Okay, so this French site really emphasizes empathy and creating a safe space for the client to, and I love this phrase, embark on a journey of self-discovery. Ooh. It's like the therapist is a guide, not the one holding the map, you know. That's a great way to put it. And it speaks to the revolutionary nature of PCT, which actually stems from the work of Carl Rogers, mm -hmm. a psychologist, not a medical doctor, which is a key distinction. He wasn't looking to fix people. Instead, he believed in this inherent actualizing tendency we all possess. Actualizing tendency. Now that it has a ring to it, what exactly does that mean? It's the idea that deep down, we all have this drive to grow, evolve, and reach our full potential like a sunflower reaching for the sun. I love that. PCT recognizes this and works with that inherent drive yeah. rather than imposing solutions from the outside. So if we all have this like inner sunflower, as I'm now calling it. I love it. How does a PCT therapist actually help it bloom? The French website dives into the therapist's training, focusing a lot on something called core conditions. It almost sounds like PCT is more about the therapist's skills than what the client does. That's an astute observation, and it gets to the heart of what makes PCT unique. While other therapies might emphasize techniques or interventions, PCT provides a relational framework. It's about the therapist cultivating a certain way of being with the client. Think of it like, hmm, creating fertile ground rather than trying to force the plant to grow a certain way. Okay, so less gardening shears, more fertilizer. I like that. But what exactly are these core conditions that make up this fertile ground? They might sound surprisingly simple, but their power is in their consistency. First, you have congruence, sometimes called genuineness. This means the therapist shows up authentically, their words matching their inner experience. They're not hiding behind a professional mask, which creates a space for the client to do the same. So it's like we can sniff out a phony. Right. If the therapist isn't being real, how can we feel safe enough to be real ourselves? Precisely. Next comes unconditional positive regard. Now, this doesn't mean the therapist approves of every behavior. Right. But it does mean they accept the client's fundamental worth as a human being no matter what. Imagine a friend offering unwavering support, even when you mess up. That's the vibe. Wow, I can see how powerful that would be, especially if you're used to judgment or criticism. No wonder people find PCT so empowering. Absolutely. And finally, we have empathic understanding, which goes beyond just feeling sorry for someone. It's about the therapist really putting themselves in the client's shoes, trying to see the world through their eyes, and reflecting that understanding back. So not just listening, but like getting it on an emotional level. Exactly. And that's where the magic happens. When a client feels truly heard and understood, that's when real change and growth can occur. This is all making a lot of sense, but I do have one question. The Wikipedia article mentioned that some people criticize PCT for being uh, unstructured compared to other therapies. How does that work if the therapist isn't guiding the session with specific techniques? Right. Yeah. No, that totally makes sense. It's just, you know, I, I can see how some people might like crave a bit more structure in a therapy setting. That's a fair point. And it highlights a key difference in how PCT approaches therapy. While some therapies might have a clear roadmap, you know, yeah. with homework assignments or specific exercises, PCT sees the client as the expert on their own experience. The structure, if you will, comes from those core conditions we talked about. They create a safe and supportive space for the client to explore their inner world at their own pace. So it's less about following a script and more about like creating a space for authentic self-discovery. Exactly. Imagine a therapist saying, okay, today we're going to tackle anxiety with thought restructuring techniques. Mm. That might be helpful for some, but in PCT, the client might say, actually, I'm really struggling with a conflict at work and I need to process those feelings. Mm -hmm. And the therapist, guided by those core conditions, would go there with them. That makes sense. It's like the client is holding the compass mm -hmm. and the therapist is there to help them read it. 
not to dictate the direction. I love that analogy, and this ties into why PCT is being used in so many settings beyond therapy. The French website mentions holistic health, coaching, even conflict resolution. It's about applying those core conditions, empathy, genuineness, unconditional positive regard to any relationship where growth and understanding are key. So it's not just about like feeling better on an individual level. It's about cultivating healthier dynamics in all areas of our lives. Precisely. Imagine approaching a disagreement with a loved one, not from a place of judgment or trying to fix them, mm -hmm. but from a place of genuinely wanting to understand their perspective. That's PCT in action. Wow. This deep dive has been so eye-opening. Instead of seeing ourselves as projects to be fixed, PCT reminds us that we have this innate capacity for growth and healing within us. And it emphasizes the power of genuine connection to unlock that potential. It truly is a paradigm shift. And it leaves us with a powerful question to ponder. If fostering those core conditions, congruence, unconditional positive regard, and empathic understanding can create such transformative change in a therapeutic setting, Imagine the ripple effects if we brought those same principles into our everyday interactions. How might our relationships, our communities, and even the world at large be different? That's something I encourage you to reflect on. It really makes you think, doesn't it? It does. Awesome. Well, that's all the time we have for today's deep dive, but wow, what a journey, right? Absolutely. From self-discovery to sunflowers to hopefully a more empathetic world. I love it. Thanks for joining us.